when charging a communicating two-stage Amana heat pump, we must always have it in first stage, not second stage, that's first stage. It will not charge properly, and it will not be charged properly in second stage. What you want to get in first stage by disconnecting Y2 inside the air handler, and uh, that they both have to be on first stage, the air handler and the condenser. That way you're not getting high airflow with the air handler in second stage and your condenser in first stage. So you want them both in first stage. What you want to get is six, well, five to seven degrees of superheat and seven to nine on the subcool. Has to be running for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it seems like they have to run more with a longer line set. So what you got here, it's a little bit marginal on that, and this is going up and down. Of course, that's the TXV searching. And uh, got seven degrees of subcool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna go over here, weigh it in. Six more ounces, bring it up to 12. Something like that anyway. And that should get my sub cool yeah, up to eight. And we want to have it perfect. Of course, our superheat goes up and down. And if you get within three degrees of it, man, you're doing good. But it was standing pretty steady at six degrees superheat, so it should go back there. And then our sub cool should be something like eight degrees. Then we'll get in again seven to nine on the sub cool, five to seven on the superheat. You adjust that TXV. They've done away with that. That's a good thing. And uh, sub cool should be in there perfectly. Make sure all your valve caps and your top caps are on tight. The service valves. If they're not on tight, they'll leak out all the refrigerant there. And we don't need to cause any more refrigerant leaks than we already have in the world. And that's how you charge an Amana two-stage system.